Welcome back to Shutter Magazine. This month's video is being shot with a Lumix FC1000 and it's so much fun because I've got Panasonic's image app in my phone and it gives me a whole lot of control to be able to do this. This month's article is all about backup. Now, the theme of the issue this month is travel and I wanted to take it from a different perspective. I wanted to talk about what happens in terms of your business and things you need to be doing to make sure you've got adequate backup when you're not in the office and when you're on the road. And if you don't have an office, I'm talking about your home studio. Let's not take the word office literally. But welcome to my home office. Now, as an example, I've got Shutterfest coming up in just a few weeks and I always have backup. I have two presentations I'm doing. They're both loaded in here. They were both built on this computer here and then just in case because we all know Murphy's Law if something can go wrong it will and then there's Murphy's revised law which just says Murphy was an optimist in addition I've got my program on two jump drives and then just in case everything were to go wrong I've got a PDF printed of the of my presentation so if I had to rebuild them in a hurry or for some reason I didn't have a projector, I didn't have my computer and couldn't do my presentation, I've at least got it laid out to be able to talk to. Now, the issue that I want to get you guys thinking about, and I want to go into more detail than I did in my article, I want you to think about who's your backup when you're gone. What happens if you're out of the office? Or even worse, what happens if you've got an event to photograph and something happens on the way there. God forbid it's a car accident or maybe you just came down with the flu and you can't get out of bed. Now what are you going to do for your backup? And that's where I want you to think about those people closest to you. Those people who you trust the most and essentially think through, remember the fire drills we all did as kids? Everybody's been through a fire drill. I don't care how old you are, somewhere in elementary school um, you got into the habit of doing fire drills and you probably carried them right through junior high school and high school. Think about a fire drill and if right now you had an assignment to get to and all of a sudden you can't go, you can't be there, who's your backup? Identify two or three people that are in that core group that have the skill set to cover you and that have the ability that you can pick up the phone and call them and say I need help, can you fill in for me? Even more serious than that is who's running your business when you're gone. What if something comes up? You're on the road, you're traveling, you're in the air. You're on a 16-hour flight to the other side of the world and cannot be reached and something comes up. That means it's really important for you to delegate and for you to have at least one or two people that understand certain aspects of your business so that if something came up, you've got that backup. So while the theme of this month is travel, and in most cases people are going to be talking about travel photography, gear, on location, destination weddings, um, travel is an amazing aspect of the business and the career field we've chosen and the ability to travel. But I want you to think about your backup so that when you are traveling or when you're just not available, who's going to fill in so that being on the road doesn't put your business on the rocks? And that's it for this month. Let's see if I can shut off the camera the right way. Thanks for following me on Shutter Magazine. And hopefully we'll see you at Shutterfest. And here we go.